everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Spec Products fitted case for the 4th Gen iPod Touch. Now this particular case comes in a variety of colours. This one is called Dalmatian Houndstooth but it comes in sort of a pinky colour. Also something called Tasty Cakes and even a camouflage finish as well. Now let me just pull this case out. Here we go. Now you can actually get a feel of the case before you buy it through the hole in the front but we're interested in just cracking this open and having a look at this really nice case. So it's a two piece case, comes apart like so. Let's get rid of the packaging. And what's nice about this case, just before I fit the iPod into it, is it's got this sort of really nice sort of material type finish to the back and then a nice soft rubberized uh, coating on the inside. So that's really gonna uh, protect your iPod from scratches. As long as you don't get any dust between the case and the back of your iPod, I can't see this scratching at all. Now, fitting the iPod is easy. This is a fourth gen iPod touch. Pop it into the back section, get the front part of the case like so, and then it's just a matter of clipping it round and giving it a push round all the, all the edges. A little bit tricky actually, but I'm sure once I get these bottom sections in it will be in place try again now normally I would edit these bits out but I think that's a bit of a naughty thing to do so let's just keep trying and here we go we're almost there so I had to go round quite a few times it doesn't seem to want to clip on these edges. So let's start again. Let's just have a closer look at this case. Now it looks like we should have started on this edge and put this edge in first and then held that tight and then clipped it onto the opposing edge. But all that keeps happening, there we go, so that's the top edge in and that's that side in and that's in now. So yeah, a little bit tricky, just go for one edge and then clip the opposing edge round. Now as I say, I would have normally edited something like that out, but I think it's important that you see if it is tricky to fit, it's tricky to fit. But once it's in there, it is a very nice case. Let me give you a tour around it. This side's obviously completely clear. This bottom section, a nice large cutout there for the dock connector, the earphone jack and also the speaker there. Then we've got a cutout on this side for the volume up and down. And it's just popped apart again. Come on, case. Stay together. Push that together. There we go. So, the top edge. <laughs> Let's take this again. The top edge here uh, has got the cutout for the power on off. And then on the back, there's another cutout there for the camera. Now, the front obviously remains completely accessible. There's a slight ridge to the front of the case, so it does protrude over the front of the screen. That nice lay on the table design, so it's not gonna to touch the screen on the table. Um, the actual fit and finish, if you just look at this, it's a little tiny gap there between the two sort of uh, parts of the case, but I think that's clipped in properly now. And although it does, it's popped out again on that top, so I'm not 100% sort of happy with how this is clipping together. Keep sort of popping, popping off. Mind you, let me just take, let's be fair to the case. Let's take this apart. Now on my iPod, I have got this film on the back. So forgive me, Spec, if this is what's causing the problem. This is a very thin skin on the back. So I've removed that. Let's pop it back in that case again. Let's try it again. Let's be fair to the case. So we clipped on this edge first, and then we clip round on this edge. Look at that, first go. So it was, this is what I had on the iPod. This is just like a thin plastic film. And that was what was causing the case not to fit. So it really is a custom, custom fit for it. It's only just gonna fit in there. So if you've got a back skin on your iPod, take it off before putting it in the spec fitted case now it's clipped on nicely let me show you those joins again a nice easy fit now 
if only I had done that at the beginning of the review but at least that shows you don't fit a back skin to your iPod touch if you're going to use it in this case the finish is really nice we've got this raised section with the spec logo there nice detailing to the case as well this is a nice nice case it gives a nice sort of quality feel to the back a nice bit of grip to it as well a bit of protection to the corners overall a really cl classy looking case something that would certainly suit um, a, a professional lady somebody who's into fashion perhaps you like your materials this is a this is a nice nice case so after that initial problem of getting it fitted the spec fitted case just is a absolute superb 100% secure fit for the 4th gen iPod touch no problems with the case popping apart now as you can see it's going to cost you around about £30 maybe £28 in the UK if you shop around if you're in the US you get a slightly better deal you're going to pick this up for around about $20 if you shop around this is the spec fitted case for the 4th gen iPod touch please forgive my earlier trouble getting it into the case but that's now all sorted please do come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. And until next time, enjoy your technology and have a great day. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions, the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.